super. Super. <laughs> hey guys, where am I? I'm in the country called Azerbaijan. Quite unexpected, right? It has different uh, types of terrain, and right now we're in the northwestern part of Azerbaijan. And it's known for its lush green nature, serenity, wonderful air, and this is why people keep coming here. And we're in a small village uh, next to the town, the resort town of Gabala. And today we're going to be visiting with Wilderness Cooking. And the, the host of the channel is uh, Tavaku. Let's go and pay him a visit. Knock, knock. <laughs> Tavaku, oh, straight from the video. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Все хорошо. Как у вас дела? Нормально. Что за приготовим сегодня? Шашлык. Шашлык. Кавказский. Первым чапьем. Да, я знаю, что чай любят в Азербайджане. I know that uh, the tea is the national drink in Azerbaijan, and you drink it before meal, during the meal, and after the meal. Hoş gelmişiz Lava. Yani ki bizim Azerbaycan'a burada yani ki konağa karşılayan da bizim bir çay süpürsü açılır. Size de böyle bir çay süpürsü açmışız. Slava adeta ben etle oynuyorum. Et pişiyor ha. Ee, şimdi inşallah durup orada kuzu bizi gözlüyor. Yani güzel yemekler pişiriz ya. <gülüyor> Şaşilik. <gülüyor> I don't know what's coming. Honestly, so I'm very excited and I want to be part of that. We'll see the whole cooking process and we'll see what comes out of it. Dursto, <gülüyor> kako plan? Burada bizim milli kölemiz olan taş arasını pişireceğiz. Onun tadına bakarsınız. Şaşlık devlet kaydası da her şey olmalı bizde. İnşallah onu da beraber pişirelim. The plan for today is we're going to be cooking a meal that's called taş arası. And that's a special type of uh, preparation of lamb. And we're going to be having one stone and then we're going to have meat. And we'll have another stone on top of it. And you'll get to see it all. So let's get started. Please welcome Rafael. Yeah. He's uh, Tarakul's nephew. And he's going to help us to understand what we're going to do with the lamb. We start with the meat. We take the meat. We take the meat. We take the is the most fatty part of the lamb. So we're going to be using it as oil. We go to the side of the Daş arası için et çıkartacağım yumuşak yerinden. O sümüksüz olmalıdır. Onu dinlersen. The dog's name is Tarhan. Are you hungry? See? Now you're happy. Now we're slicing the meat into smaller portions. Azerbaijani cuisine is famous for different spices that they're using and a lot of them are not very familiar in the in the Western world. So let me show you just some that uh, a cook would have on their table. Sol, chorda mohote peris, kemion, sumak, sushona mnata, eta reikhan, krasnay svatki peris, kekle otu, jaskral reikhan, tolko bole sushona ito. Duzduyacağım onları. Çekme yolar kardeş çekse. You gotta tenderize it first, and now we're gonna salt it. To cook this meal, we're only gonna be using salt and pepper. It's very simple. This method of preparation was uh, comes from hunting. You know, when people hunted, and that was a good way to cook the meat by using two stones and putting the meat the meat in between. So, dashrasi. Salt. 
So let's start the cooking process. And we're, good, we're gonna do it by using, by throwing kurduk on the first stone. And when it melts and gives our, us the, the necessary oil, uh, we're gonna throw the, the real meat. So we just sliced it up, now we're gonna salt it. Generously. Grab some slices of kurduk. So we have to move it back and forth to get the oil out. You see how oily it gets? It's all over the surface. So let's do that. We're placing each one of them in, in each corner and we have oiled the whole surface. Now we're gonna throw in some vegetables. Now let's flip. Let's flip the slices of kurduk. And this is the second rock I was telling you about. So now let's press these veggies and meat. Ah. <laughs> so while we're working on Dasha Rasse, uh, we are also cooking another meal, and that would be the, your typical shish kebab. And so the charcoal is almost ready. It's just about the right temperature. Yes. Now let's relocate the stone over to this part of the table. Alrighty. And I guess we'll keep doing that. This part, that part, this part, until it's all ready. Dasharasi is a popular dish in Azerbaijan. But what's different if you order it at a restaurant, they would use regular oil instead of the kurduk oil. And kurduk oil is the original recipe. They kind of uh, skipping that part, but we're only going for the original recipe today. Time to taste one of them. Oh, the meat is perfectly cooked, juicy, like they say around here, super. And now it's the part two of the cooking, and we're gonna be doing shish kebab. Сколько по времени будем готовить? 30 минут. Постоянно переворачивая. Сколько стоит один барашек у вас в деревне? 200. 200 манат. Да. Недорого, да? Мне кажется. It's time to make a salad. These are pomegranates, and in Azerbaijan, they're considered the king of fruits. Why is that? Because they have a crown. See, this little thing, it's like a crown. But right now, unfortunately, we're not in the season for pomegranates, because the season is gonna come in September and October, and right now is just April. These are goat and judging by the bumps it's got, you can tell how old the goat was. So this one was about four years old.
достаточно. Товарищ Юль, ну что, пора кушать? Да. Мы хорошо поработали, заслужили. Начнем. Mmm. It's the perfect combination. Super. Super. We're sitting in such a wonderful place and I asked Tavakul to take me to the mountains and we'll do a mountain expedition. Let's enjoy some nature. And now we have enough energy to do that. Plenty of energy. <laughs> Super. Super. Сколько еще ехать осталось? Два километра. Два километра. Хорошо. Сколько здесь до границы с Россией? Где-то 10 километров. Всего 10 километров? Да. Можно да. пешком пройти и туда? Да, да. можно. По горам, по горам. If you, if you walk for just 10 kilometers, you're gonna end up in Russia. This is the name of a natural spring and the water from it is not about drinking it but it's about having those healing qualities so some of the health resorts are using it uh, for their clients to be like going through different medical procedures. I have some questions for you Tavakul. So I'll be asking him questions in English he will be answering in Azerbaijani and then we'll do some, a little bit of translation so let's get started. My first question is, what makes Gabala, this region of Azerbaijan, a special one? Gabala's beauty is based on the nature of the nature. The nature of the nature is very touristic. The nature of the nature is based on the nature of the nature. The nature of the nature is based on the nature of the nature. The nature of the nature is based on the nature of the nature. The nature of the nature is based on the nature of the nature. There is a lot of variety. The nature of the nature is based on the <laughs> you are a Lesgin. What makes this ethnicity uh, different from others? Because I know in Azerbaijan you have so many. And so, what is it about Lesgins? Her milletin öz adet enerler olduğu kimi biz de dağlı sayılırdık. Çünkü çok vakti bizim yaşayış mentekilerimiz dağ eteklerinde yerleşiyordu. Ona göre de yani ki biraz cigit kimi yani ki o dağın o gururunu onu kalbimizde taşıyırdık. Onun için de bizi çok var ki kaynar kanlı, lezgiler kaynar kanlı değiller. Ee, böyle böyle yani ki adet enelerimizde de fark var, <gülüyor> dilimizde de. Ama hamız kampak formada mehriban, birbirimize e, destek olarak Azerbaycan'da yaşıyorduk. Hoştu bizim için. <gülüyor> We know about your cooking skills, right? But besides that, you seem to have skills in almost anything. Like you built those cabanas in your restaurant, then you can uh, like start an oven from in, in the middle of the ground. You seem to be able to, to, to do just about anything. Where did you get those skills? Who taught you that? Sinatkarlık kandan da gelir, meyfazi. Ancak insan hayatında da yani öğrenebilir. Yani ki hayat özü öğrendir insanlar meyen işler görmeyi, kabiliyetleri kazanmalı. Ben de. Hem kanımda var, hem de e, öz e, yani ki hayatım boyu öğrenmişim, atamdan öğrenmişim, atam e, <gülüyor> usta oluptu, dülger oluptu. Ben de hemşinin ondan göre göre götürmüşüm bile. E, ne <gülüyor> And I have the last question for you. Since you started uh, making videos on YouTube, how has your life changed? Elbet ki her bir insanın yani ki hayatında. Ee, çok insanlarla temas olmağı her yeteni yani onu değiştirebilir. Ben de YouTube'a girdik yani, yani ki bütün cemiyet için e, ne tane bakırlar izdiler yani daha da özümü tekmilleştirmeliyim. Daha da çetin oldu. 
YouTube hayatımda yer ki çetinlik çoktu yer ki bütün insanların bahçelerin kabağında yani ki onların istediği kimi çok sevilen öz bahçelerimizi de yani ki tak böyle de. Since you became famous, uh, did you ever get like unannounced guests at your house that showed up to say, hey, we're here to see <laughs> Miki. <laughs> And if so, from which countries? Мы всегда приветствуем людей с какой страны бы не приехали бы, то есть очень много стран, то есть Америка, Мексика, то есть арабские эмираты, то есть Бразилия. Да, из Бразилии, да, то есть Россия, вот с Казах Казахстан, да, вот, то есть очень много стран, вот и большинство из этих стран, кто приезжает, они любят кушать, они любят вкусную еду, вот, да, да, да. Да, они любят вкусную еду, и из-за того, что они смотрят нас, они находят нас. То есть, э, кто, кто любит нас, они приедут и найдут. Вот, вот так вот. Tabaku is a good hunter, as you might have expected, and there's plenty of game to be hunted in these mountains. Hey, we found some snow! Snow in the mountains. Look at this. Real snow. Дядя здесь соберет зелень, которая используется на национальном блюде кутап. Mm -hmm. То есть э, кутабы вот большие, именно вот лезгинские кутабы. Mm -hmm. вот, они готовят, приготавливаются из э, зелени, которая называется ди зеленый дикий, дикий, дикий лук. Mm -hmm. Сейчас дядя покажет, какой это лук. Отлично. Вот. Супер. Супер. Самые вкусные кутабы готовятся именно из зелени, из дикого лука, который собирается в горах. Вот так вот. Вот здесь, посмотри. Сейчас я дам сам уроки что This is wild green onions. We're going to use it for kutabs. Well, after a little hiking trip, we're ready to eat again. And what we're gonna eat and prepare is kutab. And kutab is the national Azerbaijani dish. Now there are many variations. So which one are we going to be cooking today? Kutab bizim milli feleklerimizden biri değil. Burada tabi göğertiden olsa daha da tatlı olur. Yani ki ekilmiş göğertilerden de olur. Pendir göğerti, razı razı başka var yaptılar var. So the worst thing. Mmm. Now let's spice it up with a little bit of sumac. Okay, let's sprinkle just a little bit. You know, sumac gives you that almost like citrus kind of flavor, like lemon. Mmm. <laughs> I was really surprised to find out uh, how many how many different spices, the national spices they got. Like I never heard of sumac, 
and there's many many more like a different restaurants depending where you go in Azerbaijan you're gonna meet a lot of new spices and always good to learn something new I'm making it a little bit messy sorry we need a napkin uh -huh. mm -hmm. like I said in Azerbaijan it's always a good time to have some tea so let's have some tea super super <laughs> <laughs> I bet you guys didn't know that Tevakul has his own restaurant and he's gonna show it to us now. By the way, the restaurant is called Gaya, which means the cliff. What they told this comes from the Sam's dealer. Sam Shubisek was the old dead Sam's cream Rukami. He's deleted to his flower for Parel, eh? So it's the restaurant to prepare it? Mm-hmm. Человек сам может поймать рыбку удочкой, вот, и эту же рыбу приготовит, вот, как хотите, там, на мангале. Тавакюль, вопросы несколько у меня есть. А у вас свой ресторан как долго уже был? Я думаю, он на Авиаткине Авиаткине считает, что я не могу идти. Да, он идти. Он был ресторан за 4 года, и потом, когда он начал блогать на YouTube, он получил много внимания. Так что одна вещь привела к другой, и сейчас он помогает ресторану бизнесу тоже. And so a lot of people are coming here to his actual restaurant. The small cabanas where you can have your meal, wonderful. There's a pond, beautiful setting. It's also, the work is in the, in, in the progress, right? So the water level will go up and it will look prettier than yeah. it is now. Yeah. So, but it's not the season yet. It's not even summer. Okay, and this is the restaurant itself. And there's a little bit of renovation work going on right now. And of course, we could not have forgotten about the star of the show, Miki the Goat. Whoa. <laughs> I had a great time with Tabakul and his nephew. And everything you see in wilderness cooking videos is as delicious as it seems. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.